Hi guys, I welcome you all to yet another lecture on anthropology series. This is our day seven. Uh, so yeah, हमने कल डार्विन की थ्योरी को कंप्लीट किया था एंड उसी से रिलेटेड टॉपिक एक आज हम कंप्लीट करने वाले हैं बिफोर वी स्टार्ट द सिंथेटिक थ्योरी ऑफ एवोल्यूशन बिफोर वी स्टार्ट द लेक्चर गाइज आई हैव एन अनाउंसमेंट टू मेक यू गाइज आर वॉचिंग द वीडियोज बट यू आर नॉट लाइकिंग दैम यू नॉट सब्सक्राइबिंग दैम प्लीज फॉर माई मोटिवेशन प्लीज लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब बिकॉज इट इज़ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर मी टू गेट मोटिवेटेड एंड ब्रिंग गुड कॉन्टेंट फॉर यू गाइज राइट सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड सो नाउ टूडेज टॉपिक इट इज़ नॉट मैंशन इन द स्टैंडर्ड टेक्सट बुक्स बट इट इज़ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इट इज़ रिगार्डिंग द डिबेट वी हैड ऑन डे फोर डे फाइव एंड डे सिक्स दैट इज द थेरीज ऑफ लेमार्क एंड द थ्योरी ऑफ डाविन सो लेमार्क एंड डाविन समवेयर वर टॉकिंग दैट एवोल्यूशन happens over a course of time which is a gradual process we had already talked about this in the day 4 video also that in organic evolution we had talked about that evolution takes years and centuries and uh, you know like millions of years you know that picture we had uh, seen ki plant se then you know kuch uh, am uh, um, एम्फीबियंस आए होंगे मैमल्स आए होंगे रेप्टाइल्स एप्स ह्यूम लाइक देन ह्यूमन लाइक स्पीशीज एंड सो ऑन सो इट इज़ अ ग्रेजुअल प्रोसेस दिस इज वॉट वॉज बिलीव्ड बाय लमार्क एंड डाविन सो वी कैन से समवेयर ग्रेजुअलिज्म द थ्योरी ऑफ ग्रेजुअलिज्म इन एवोल्यूशन वॉज प्रपाउंडेड बाय लमार्क एंड डाविन वेर एज पंक्चुएटेड इक्विलिब्रियम was a new concept which was propounded by t h morgan now what was this this is very interesting because he gave an altogether new concept on the evolution okay so he worked on evening primroses this is a kind of a uh, you can say flower only and observed certain changes so obviously he did some experiments and based on those experiments he came up with the idea of punctuated equilibrium now what is a equilibrium equilibrium is to create a balance okay and so his theory was okay uh yeah okay yes just wait a second yes so uh let's assume that this is a this is a graph which shows over time how the species have evolved so this graph shows species 1 2 3 4 and it shows a constant rate and a very gradual slow process okay gradual process but in punctuated equilibrium th morgan talked about something like this okay so he said he said this will be stage 1 2 3 4 and so on okay so now what was this this he called uh just wait a second yes sorry this part he called the saltation stage now we will require these diagrams let's go on to the slide first yeah so now th morgan studied these evening primroses and talked about mutation so here we come across mutation very important because when we were reading the uh, darwin's theory we had seen his in his criticism that he could not understand the arrival of the fittest or why you know these variations were passed on because he did not know any concept such as mutation or genetic he did not understand the genetic part of it right so this was the first time 
somebody gave mutation that is genetic reasons a very important place in evolution okay now he said mutation was uh, he called mutation as saltation and said that it was responsible for formation of new species so now you see he has called this uh, saltation he believed that this saltation is basically mutation only and this was this was the reason of form, uh, formation of new species now how let's see because he believed for example he gave the uh, you know we can take the example of cambrian explosion in cambrian okay so now the the those of you who do not know what this cambrian era is so basically these are geological time scale we are going to read this in the further chapters just understand that abhi kuch hum millions of years pehle ki baat kar rahe hain we are going to cover this in a lot more detail in the next chapters so just uh, understand in cambrian period no when there was this cambrian period was going on you know to adapt to the environment you know apes uh, sorry aves mammals reptiles amphibians ye sab ek hi ek hi heredity se hokar they diverged into being different kind of species because they had to remain they you know survival of the fittest to in logon ko uh, survive karne ke liye they had to you know change their niche altogether niche means a role a uh, the functional place in the uh, in the ecosystem they had to change it otherwise itna zyada intra species uh, struggle hota ki you know koi bhi survive nahi kar pata so that is why they evolved into being different different kind of species so that there is enough for everybody right so he gave this example and he said this did not happen gradually he said Cam- cambrian explosion kya hua Ex- why it is called explosion because ekdam se hua na e- ek type ka species different different species mein ekdam se badal gaya amphibian aves mammals reptiles ekdam se hua so he said it was like a pop of burst okay so he said these saltation stages jo hum bol rahe hain these are those explosive stages ki the the species evolve quickly to the changing environment it's not like ki you know they are taking gradual steps like this jo ki darwin aur lamarck mante the ki aise aise dheere 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 hoga unhone bola no there will be environmental pressures to which the species will, will you know evolve quickly unko jaldi jaldi they will adapt to those uh, changes and aise saltation stages aate rahenge aur wo pa- uh, jaise hi wo saltation stages aayengi that is mutation unke andar mutation hogi to adapt to those environmental changes quickly uske baad fir se equilibrium aayega so you see this this these stages he called this ki ye equilibrium stages hai and these these ones are the saltation stages right so you now understand this so this was all about uh, and this term was uh, this term as punctuated equilibrium was given by eldridge and jay gold so yeah this was whole about uh, the this was our, our today's topic about gradualism versus punctuated equilibrium it was a short topic but very important it could come in the short questions so yeah please do like share and subscribe and uh, tomorrow we will start with the synthetic theory of evolution and our this chapter would be complete after this we are going to start with the next chapters which are which are very very interesting and hum unko bahut uh, you know hum usko culture society ke sath mix karke padhne wale hain so that it uh, it makes a holistic understanding in your mind okay thank you so much